I've been creating a lot recently, mainly abstract work. In the past month, I've made 17 abstract pieces, and it's still growing. My art process has been very private to me, especially with my abstract pieces, but I've been moving it into showing the world because this series I am ready to share. So today you're just gonna see me work in the studio on a piece independent of this series. I finally got a membership to a reference site I've been using forever. They have nude models and they just have some incredible references. And I found a really awesome one that had very perfect body type diversity and I wanted to make a piece out of it. So today you will see me work on that start to finish. Finish. Michaels is having a sale of canvas, so I bought seven canvas for $50, and they're big canvas, and it makes me so incredibly happy. So I started off by cleaning up my workstation, and then I brought out my chalk pastels, which I tend to use as a base for sketching in the piece because it's easy to erase, it's easier to move, in my opinion. I've had these chalk pastels for years and they have treated me so well. I took a figure drawing class over the summer and it was one of the most incredible classes I've ever taken. I A loved the artists that taught it and B loved the way they taught it. And I have discovered that painting and capturing the figure in forms of movement or forms of realism have been one of the most incredible projects I've ever done, second, of course, to my abstract work. But drawing the figure is just so incredible, and I love it a lot, and I love experimenting with new ways to portray it in new ways to abstract the values, because you know I love to exaggerate the colors that I use in pieces. This piece, I didn't really have an idea of what color palette I was going to use until a later point in this video, which I will point out, but I just started with using this magenta chalk pastel and just figuring out where things are positioning, imposing some shadows and harsh lines, and then I went in with multicolored pastels of purple and yellow, which eventually helped me figure out what values I was going to use in the painting as well. I have not been using paint brushes with my pieces in a while because I've been doing abstract pieces. So today I actually did some paint mixing, which I haven't done in so long, and I used paint brushes, which is very different than what I've been doing. I've literally been painting with a sponge and a spray bottle for over a month, but it was very satisfying to get my heavy body paints out and just mix together some colors because I was essentially making up these colors, but also keeping values in mind and making sure I had lighter colors for highlights and darker colors for shadows and just creating those darker values. So I I used this maroonish purple I mixed for the shadows and then for deep shadows I used a dioxazine purple I believe that's how you say it um so yeah I think it came together really well and it kind of reminded me of a sunset you'll see at the end of the video the finished product but I just went in exaggerating this yellow 
value in the reference image and made it a little more orange. With my colors, I tend to exaggerate colors and make them a lot bolder than they appear in the reference. And I kind of just let my mind do whatever it figures out. Like if I think about it too much, it ends up becoming wrong and obviously there's no wrong way to do art but to me if I just kind of let myself figure it out as I go it tends to be a stronger piece because I'm doing it more intuitively and intentionally but subconsciously if that makes sense like with my abstract pieces I call it like intuitive color theory where I'll pick out colors without really thinking about it I'll just have like a third third sixth sense or something and like know what colors I'm gonna use and they end up looking amazing but there's no real reason behind it until I get to the end of the piece and I see how everything falls together and I figure out what story I was putting into the piece. These pieces are far less abstract. They still hold meaning to me and some of them do, some of them don't. I think that's the beautiful thing about art is there can be so much meaning in one piece and the other one might not have as much meaning but it's still beautiful and that's a whole debate right now like on tiktok i'm on the art side of tiktok because i use it to promote my art and there is this gorgeous talented artist um that paints with a mop and she makes these really cool patterns and she sells them for quite a bit people value what she makes and in the comments i'll look and they'll be like it's not worth that but worth is subjective you may be into one thing and someone else may be into another and value and worth is attributed by so many different people and one like I said one thing could be worth it to another and not to someone else and I think that's the beautiful thing is that you can have so many different types of people into your work or not but and that doesn't make your art more or less beautiful. I worked pretty fast on this piece. This piece took me about six hours from start to finish and I painted it all in one day which is impressive to me but with acrylic paint when you're actually trying to blend stuff you have to work incredibly fast unless you want to use like twice the amount of paint because you're going to have to remix paints and go over things if you want that nice blend so I worked really fast on this piece and I think it came out very strong um I can't wait to eventually work on paintings with oil paints which I will do once I get to school because I think that will really help strengthen the work that I would like to take more time on but I literally can't with the paints I'm using especially portraiture I'd love to learn how to do painting portraiture but it's practically impossible for me with acrylic paint because it just dries so fast and when I do portraiture I tend to use smaller brushes and with smaller brushes means less paint which means it dries in literally 30 seconds and I love acrylic paint I think it's great but I do think oil can have its purposes and I can't wait to try it out I tested out a bunch of new camera angles in this video if you couldn't tell. I was switching around the angles a lot. I don't know if you guys liked that, but I thought it just helped like spice it up a bit instead of keeping one angle you get to see like different angles of the piece, different angles of me. Um, <laughs> there were a couple angles where my back was like blocking the camera which I couldn't tell while I was painting so some things are super sped up or cut out so that you don't have to just stare at my back and not see the painting um but yeah this piece came together beautifully and I'm so proud of it and I really love it and I'm probably gonna sell it on my Etsy maybe do prints too it depends on what people are interested in but I want to turn this figure series into a series as well just like my abstracts but it takes more time because my abstract pieces I end up making like three in a day but these pieces take more time 
and I'm still compiling references and I want to turn it into a series so people can see a coherent body of work and hopefully be more attracted to it because I feel like of course with single pieces you can do single pieces but I like having like a bunch of others that accompany it because I think it kind of draws people in more because it tells more of a story. I don't know why, but this arm honestly might be one of my favorite parts of the piece. I just love the way it like ended up being shadowed and I think the values in it were really strong. Once the figure was done, I ended up going in with some blue paint for the background. Sorry, in this clip, the sun kind of blocks out a lot of stuff, but I needed to get it done, and I just decided to film it. Um, but yeah, I think the blue really helped. I don't know, I liked the blue with the figure. I think it looked really good. And this is the final result. I honestly think it came out so, so well. I may go back in and add some details because it is missing a couple things, but I think it looks absolutely incredible and I hope you guys like it. I'm super, super proud of it and I'll hopefully be selling prints soon. If you would like to see more of my content, I stream four days a week on Twitch. You should definitely check that out and until next video, stay safe and healthy and I will see y'all soon. Bye!